on today's ProPresenter Show, brought to you by ChurchTechU.com. Using the multi-screen module and the Alpha Key module together to send NDI. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where every week I help you with Renewed Vision Software ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. This is just one of hundreds of tutorials that I've recorded with you in mind. So, by all means, if you want to learn a whole lot more about ProPresenter, then subscribe below. So, I got this question from Doug D. in North Carolina. He said, hey, Paul, we've got the triple head to go with the multi-screen module working perfectly. And now we want to add the alpha key module because we want one of those screens to be an alpha channel. So how do we do that? Well, let me show you one of the ways to do it. And in a future episode, I'll show you one of the other ways. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter, and I have already activated the modules by clicking Demo Modules. You wouldn't want to do this on a Sunday morning because, the, as you can see, the ProPresenter logo will show up in that case. So this is what you want to do when there's no one else there, and you want to make sure that you've got the right modules before you buy them because... There's no return policy on these things, so you want to buy the right modules. I've also hooked up my Matrox dual head to go. So this is a real world test of both the multi-screen module and the HDSDI module, especially the alpha key portion. So let's take a look at what I've done to set that up already. Went into layout dual screen. Uh, I have one set up called two. Uh, and on one screen, I have the regular template with the video image. So, video image is backgrounds or foreground videos, either way. And then on the other one, I have an alternate template. And in this case, let's choose a slightly different one than the one that I chose. Let's do lower third scripture and see if that does what we want it to do. So uh, we do that and let me get out of that. When I click on that, yeah actually that looks really good. You can't tell because that's pretty small. Um, so now let's go back in. I'm going to do command comma. That just takes you into ProPresenter preferences again. And having gone into ProPresenter preferences for the multi-screen module, now let's do the HDSDI module. Device, in this case, I don't have anything connected, but I do have, I'm going to send NDI out, uh, Network Digital Interface, as opposed to a hardware SDI signal. I've chosen 720 uh, because these are each... Uh, 1280 by 720, so I'm choosing one of them for 720. Uh, key, internal key, blend. This is something for you to know the width it all the way to the right. The non alpha keyed portion, the solid portion, is totally opaque. All the way to the left, totally transparent. I'll show you that a little bit more in just a minute. And anywhere along here is you know, that's mostly transparent, this is mostly opaque, etc. Now, ignore background colors. That tells ProPresenter, hey, this black background, let's ignore that when we're keying. So, that's how we do that. So, I've got that. Next thing you need to know, because as of right now, I'm sending these both out. In fact, I have a monitor for each. 
and I can see them both at the same time. So how do you tell ProPresenter which of these goes into the NDI module? Well, it's counterintuitively over here in display. So let me start off the way that most people have it, right there in the middle. And if you've got a triple head to go, it will choose the middle of the three screens. If you've got a dual head to go and doing dual monitors like I am, it will choose the middle of the two screens. So let me show you what that is. I've already got over here this. Let me make this a little bit bigger. This is in OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. And it's got, I installed a little module, it has a, a bunch of free add-ons, a little module that allows me to do NDI. So right now what ProPresenter is sending into it is this center portion over here, which is no good for my purposes. Now, if I wanted to send the left one, I just press this left button. We go up here and it's a full screen, uh, exactly what ProPresenter is sending right here. If I want to do the right one, I press the right button. Once you know where it is, it's pretty obvious that that's how you do it. It's just remembering that that's where that is. Because when you just have a normal size screen, like my stage display screen is right here, when it's just normal size, then that just tweaks the position of the output window just a little bit. So you wouldn't think that that's what you would do, but that's how it works. So when I go back over here, you'll see I'm actually keying over my uh, stage display window, which is over to the left here. It's got the Church Tech U logo here, and I'm keying out the background. You'll notice because I'm in demo mode, the ProPresenter logo, the watermark, is still there. But other than that, it's keying and it's keying really well. Now, let me go over here to the HDSDI module and let me um, kind of put this where you can see it. So, I want you to pay attention to this lower third as I go in and I tweak the opacity. So, not a, so if I wanted just a little hint of the background peeking through, I can do it right there as well. Or fully solid, or let's say that I wanted just a ghost image for some reason. I could do that as well. So that is how you use the Alpha Key module at the same time as you use the multi-screen module when you're using NDI. I don't have um, an Ultra Studio 4K or an Ultra Studio uh, HD Mini to test this out on, hoping that I believe uh, we've got one at church that's not currently hooked up to something, so I'm hoping to try that out soon, but as of right now, I know that this works in this way. I suspect that what happens when I plug the others in is I get, in addition to NDI, I'll get the Ultra Studio 4K listed as a possibility as well. So that's what I think is going on, and I think that's how um, that would work in that situation. So that's how you use the Alpha Key module at the same time as the multi-screen module in ProPresenter 6. Well, I hope you now see that it's not as intuitive as it could have been, but once you know the trick, no big deal. I'm hoping to get my hands on an Ultra Studio 4K or an Ultra Studio HD Mini so that I can test out the hardware portion of this. But if you're using NDI, let's say with OBS, or with a new tech TriCaster, for example, then this technique will work just as you see. If you like this content, by all means, head over to tdm.fyi/pro6hardware.
Mini. And there you can sign up for the free mini course that this video and many of the others are going to be a part of. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com. Go out and change eternity. If you're using a why can I never remember what that's called? <laughs>